you can make cornbread in a regular pan, of course, who hasn't? But have you ever made cornbread in a really heavy duty cast iron skillet? You should try it. So while I'm melting the butter in the skillet, I just let it get brown because brown butter in cornbread adds so much flavor. It is so rich, it is so delicious. So you see all that white foam over there? That is all gonna sink to the bottom of the pan and that's the stuff that turns brown, the milk solids. What's happening is the water is actually cooking off from the butter, it's evaporating. And as that happens, it lets the milk solids turn brown and that's how you get brown butter. Another way that you know if your brown butter is getting close to being done, hear how noisy that is? Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. That is the water content of the butter cooking out. So once it starts to get quiet, that means that it's almost ready. Those little brown bits are where all the good flavor, the good stuff. This is very hot. You don't wanna add your eggs to the hot liquid or you're gonna get poached eggs, which is not what you want for cornbread. So I'm gonna add my maple syrup and that is gonna immediately cool this down. I love the flavor of maple syrup in cornbread, but you could also use honey. You could use um, light molasses if you wanted. Now I'm gonna add my buttermilk. That brown color, that is the brown butter. That is what you want. I'm addicted to that brown butter flavor. I just love it. I put it everywhere I can. Now, you could mix all your dry ingredients in a separate bowl. For this kind of thing, it's actually fine to just add them doesn't really make a difference, I promise. In the end, you need baking soda and baking powder because of the acidity of the buttermilk. This is just regular old white flour, whole wheat flour, which you don't actually need to use. You can use more white flour if you want, but I like the texture of whole wheat and I actually really like the flavor. I just like that little bit of sweetness that it adds. Cornmeal, essential for cornbread. Can't have cornbread without it. This is fine cornmeal. I have made the same recipe with a medium grind and it's really nice, but it tastes completely different. It's funny, the finer you grind the cornmeal, the sweeter it is because you're releasing more of that sweet corn flavor. Either way, use whatever you have, it's gonna be great. My nice greased pan. Another great thing about using a cast iron skillet for cornbread is that I've already heated this. This is a nice hot pan. So it's starting to cook the batter immediately and the batter is going to get baked really beautifully, crunchy on the bottom. The top is gonna to be browned. The middle is gonna be soft. It's just the perfect cornbread.